Welcome back to the channel. This is Ari Barshad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where we make lectures, videos and tutorials for the students of food science and technology. And today we are going to talk about ICAR net examination and ARS examination. Uh, the notification has been released recently by the ASRB Agriculture Scientist Recruitment Board. And uh, there seems to be some kind of confusion around the eligibility criteria and some basic stuff. So uh, let me try to visit the website in the in real time and talk about the procedure or not the procedure exactly but talk about the eligibility criteria some of the important dates that might be important for you before you start uh, before you start applying for the examination all right so first of all i'm just going to type uh, asrb net 2021 you can also type asrb 2021 and you will get you will get these results so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to click over here so maybe you are just directly visiting the website so this will pop up this is the website in pc i mean uh, you might see some of the changes if you are watching this in the future so on the left hand side you will see this notification net uh, not notification but you will see this option net ars and sto so you have to click on this uh, let's hope my internet is working fine and uh, okay so uh, now this is the window net ARS and STO examination 2021 and uh, so the second option online registration this is when you want to register for the examination but if you I mean I would recommend to read about the process what is the eligibility criteria on your own so that you understand before you apply it obviously so the third option over here combined notification for net ARS STO let's click on that so a new window will open up and this is a PDF file I would recommend to download it okay so I already have it uh, downloaded so I'm not going to do that again uh, so this is a combined notification they have released three types of vacancies or not vacancies to be more uh, precise these are the examinations uh, the first is net national eligibility test we have a separate video for net examination uh, and then there is ARS agricultural research research service ARS so this is the examination when you want to be a scientist in ICER Institute or other research institutes okay and then there is senior technical officer examination for the senior technical officer examination we are not going to talk about uh, that job that vacancy because that has not been released for the food technology candidates okay we are going to focus on national eligibility test net and ARS so first of all some of the important dates the online application has already started if you are watching this on let's say 11th of april or maybe later the application has already started it started on 5th of april to be more precise and uh, the last date to apply for the examination is 25th of april okay 25th of april before 5 pm so make sure you keep that in mind the examination is going to be held on uh, somewhere between 21st of june to 27th of june however uh, looking at the COVID situation i expect that uh, this might be delayed but I'm not sure we cannot say so make sure that whenever you are registering uh, your contact number and your detail like email ID is has been properly entered so that you get any update if there are any okay and uh, for ARS examination for net examination there is going to be just one examination but for ARS there is going to be a prelim preliminary examination then there is going to be mains and then viva voice so for the preliminary examination uh, for ARS that is on 19th of September and for the viva voice that will be notified later yeah so you might be wondering that what is the syllabus so over here on page number four you will see this link uh, this is what is this this is 14th point number 14 so yeah so here it is open link in new tab so this is the new tab and you will see over here the discipline numbers 1 to 10 11 to 20 so you don't have to be confused about this uh, you can click on for food technology i'm talking only about food technology because we stand for food technology only so discipline number 51 to 56 the second last option open link in new tab and you will get the syllabus okay this is the syllabus but uh, you will see that this is farm machinery and power so don't worry scroll down and on number 55 because I have already uh, opened this notification so I know that this is on number 55 for food technology. So yeah, here it is number 55 food technology. This syllabus is going to be same for ICAR net examination and ARS examination preliminary examination. Okay, so this is going to be same. The syllabus is going to be same. So don't worry about that. Uh, for I'm not sure if you can apply for, uh, at the same time for ICAR net and ARS examination as well uh i hope that you can apply but i'm not sure about that so please check with a 
RS board, ASRB board, uh, maybe email them or their contact details have been given in the brochure and on their website as well. So make sure if you have a very specific doubt that I am not talking about or I don't know about, so make sure you contact them directly. So this is the syllabus. So uh, uh, this looks quite huge. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is, this is quite big. Uh, there are total eight units and you can, I will leave a link to this website to the registration website and to the syllabus down in the description so you can check that out for yourself uh, what are the books required i have a separate video for that uh, like the basic books like food science by norman potter shakuntala mani's food facts and principles outlines of daily technology by sukumar day uh, food microbiology by william frazier so these are the these are some of the basic books that are going to help you for specific books, you can also look out for Agri Moon. Okay, you have, you can also look out for Agri Moon. There are there is also a website by uh, IASRI. I will also leave a link down in the description for that. You can check that out. There, there's not a single book that will cover the entire syllabus, but what I would recommend is to Google out uh, any specific. For example, if you want to know about food fortification, FFRC's website because I have worked there, so I know that FFRC's website is probably the best resource possible in India for food fortification so specific you will have to google out uh, some of the specific topics because you may um, you may not find them all at one place okay now getting back to the eligibility criteria and some basic stuff all right so uh, there seems to be some kind of confusion whether the master student can apply or not so here on page number 12 section a under national eligibility test it has been clearly mentioned that a candidate must possess a master's degree or equivalent in respective discipline. That means if you want to apply for food technology net, then you must have uh, completed your master's in food science, food technology, or any allied domain that is connected with food. And you must have completed your master's, your MSc or MTech before 19th of September, 2021. Okay, this year, 19th September, 2021. Maybe you are in the final year right now and you expect that by May or June or July, you will get your mark sheet or you, you will be done by your examination or submission of thesis because that usually happens in MSc or MTech. So uh, probably you will be getting your mark sheet before 19th of September. So the students who are in the final year as of now, as of like maybe I'm going to upload this on 11th of April. So if you are in the final year, then you can go ahead and apply. But if you are in the first year of your master's, then you are not eligible. Okay, the students who are in the final year, they can do it. Who are expecting that uh, they will get their mark sheet before 90th of September. Also, if you're wondering that whether there is any specific restriction on the number of attempts, then in the, uh, under point number five, it has been clearly mentioned that there is no restriction on the number of attempts you can appear for net examination n number of times. Okay, for net specifically, I'm talking. So here, another important point, what are the minimum marks required to qualify for net 2021? So it usually remains the same uh, in the previous years. Uh, this was same and this is same in 2021 for 2021 as well. So there is going to be one examination for net and that will be of 150 marks. Okay, there will be 150 questions and each mark, each question will contain one mark each. And uh, the duration for the examination, net examination is two hours. And uh, there will be a negative marking. There is definitely negative marking. If you uh, attempt a question and that, ha I mean, that is wrong, then minus one by three, minus 0.33 will be deducted from your score. Okay, so for the unreserved, for the general category, you have to secure 50%. That means 75 marks out of 150 marks if you want to qualify. For OBC, that is 67.5 marks, that is 45%. Uh, and for SCST, that is 60 marks out of 150, that means 40%, okay? So that is the basic plan, that is the that are the minimum marks required. All right, so here is the eligibility criteria that uh, maybe you are from agriculture or other domain that is not about food, then you have to apply in that specific domain, okay? Maybe you are from biochemistry, uh, maybe you are from zoology or something, then you are not eligible to apply through food technology. So uh, I will just jump over to number 55 because I remember it was 55. Yeah, so 55, food technology. This is the eligibility criteria. Master's degree in food science or food technology or food science and technology or post harvest technology, okay? I think food safety and uh, food safety quality assurance, these people are also some somehow allied 
to food science and food technology so i believe that they are going to be also eligible but if you have a very specific domain that has not been mentioned and maybe somehow revolves around food then please contact asrb or email them or maybe just dial their number and you will get to know that what is your exact whether you are eligible or not okay so this is the eligibility criteria you can check that out on page number 20 number 55 food technology now let's talk about agriculture research, uh, research service so so now uh, the students might be wondering that what is the difference between uh, net examination and ars examination so net examination is i mean if you qualify the net examination you will be eligible to apply for lecturership or assistant professorship in state agriculture universities or agriculture universities okay you will be eligible to appear for the interview if you qualify the net examination but if you qualify the ars examination then you are eligible to apply for a scientist position in research institutes or icar institutes or any uh, state agriculture university which has a specific project for a scientist okay so after qualifying ars you will be a scientist basically a scientist and after qualifying net examination you can apply for the positions such as lecturer or uh, assistant professor in agriculture or state agriculture university so that is the basic difference that is the main difference and also ars is uh, i mean this has three parts right for net examination there is just one examination but as i already mentioned ars has three examination uh from in the june they are going to conduct the preliminary examination later in september they will conduct mains and later on they will notify you for the viva so obviously ars is definitely i think a big deal uh when compared to the net examination but uh, i think that comparison should not be done because they are for different purposes right and also for the net examination there were unlimited number of attempts but for the ars examination there are six attempts for the general category the unreserved category for the obc the number of attempts is nine okay nine times they can apply so these are that's the basic difference that is for the ars examination and uh, now on page number 23 they have 23 and i guess 24 they have given that how many seats are available for each domain so for food technology number 55 you can look over here the 55 is basically the code of food technology and that code usually remains the same every year so for food technology there are four vacancies total okay out of these two there are two vacancies for the general category unreserved category overall there are four vacancies so i mean don't be do i mean you might be bothered that there are just four vacancies how how are we supposed to do that so so see you have to give your best it doesn't matter even if there was just one vacancy at least be grateful that they released a vacancy because uh, we i mean for me and for my batchmates we haven't seen a vacancy since long okay since long so be grateful that you are at least seeing some vacancies in food technology domain for ARS again you must have completed your masters before 19 September the same rules apply for eligibility criteria you must for i mean if you want to apply for food technology uh, ARS then you must have completed your masters in food science food science and technology food technology post harvest technology so these domains the students from these domains are eligible to apply for ARS so over here the plan of examination is given on page number 29 uh, you can also check that out for yourself the first exam the preliminary is going to be the objective type that will have 150 marks and the duration will be two hours the mains will be descriptive type and that will have 240 marks almost double now not almost double uh, less than double and that will have a duration of three hours the viva voice is going to be of 60 marks and the duration is not given so i mean that will depend on how long you take to answer the question or how many questions these people ask you okay so the this is the plan of examination this is the division of marks and again they have a negative marking system for the preliminary examination and that is the same as that of net minus one by three minus 0.33 marks will be deducted and these are the minimum qualifying marks for the general category that is 67.5 out of 150 uh, that means 45 percent for obc that is 60 marks out of 150 that is 40 percent and for sc st that is 52.5 that means 35 uh, percent so this is the these are the minimum qualifying marks for the different categories so make sure that you keep in mind i mean if you genuinely want to qualify that make sure you your score is at least 20 marks ahead or 20 marks above the minimum threshold maybe you want to call you are from general category then make sure 
that you target somewhere around 80. I mean, I would target somewhere around 80 marks uh, if I want to, 80 or 90 marks if I wanted to qualify the ARS examination. Because obviously, it could be possible that I do some mistakes and there is, uh, there is negative marking in this. So yeah, I mean, this is more or less the video about NET, ARS and STO. Not STO, I didn't talk about STO because the vacancies for the senior technical officer have not been released for the food technology students. But for NET examination, definitely who want to go for academia and uh, people who want to be the scientists in ICER institutes or research institutes in India and who want to contribute in the food technology domain, definitely this is a good opportunity for the students. Also, if you are are not aware about the net examination that what is the net examination all about what are the books that you have to refer for the net examination then i will leave a link to a video over here where i had an interview with deepak sir who is currently pursuing his phd from niftem he has qualified net examination multiple times so make sure you check the video over here and i'll see you next time class dismissed